Hello and welcome to this uh, second video of ASP.NET MVC. So so far, uh, what we developed is uh, this is a home controller that we worked on it, and uh, this was an about action and uh, the demo action that we have created with the view bag and uh, message pr property. And uh, also in view, we can actually directly switch uh, uh, from uh, an action to a view using a shortcut key let's say for example uh, control mg will take me directly to the to the to the to the view page uh, and if i want to go back to that specific action so i can press control mg and i can go back so i don't need to go and look and find out the way it is located similarly when we are adding a new action uh, we can just directly right click and you can add a view let's say for example in demo we did not create any view we were just uh, using uh, or uh, uh, sending or returning an about view from this demo action so i can right click and i can uh, add view and uh, i can specify a view name in this case i will be keeping exactly the same and uh, a template i will not be using any template these are the templates we will be discussing more about these templates and this is uh, actually the page which will be using the layout we will discuss uh, in this video today about uh, the layout so i'll just add this and then it's going to add this file already exists oh no it does not anyways so installing new get packages or it says we have demo.cshtml file over here and then, then I can uh, press control mg and then I can go back to this uh, demo so now in this case I can just uh, remove this and then uh, in this uh, action will return the view and definitely it will search for uh, home directory inside the views and look for demo.cshtml file and it's not doing anything and just returning this and it's about.cshtml file uh, we were just displaying some messages and we can use that message which we are setting over here in demo.cshtml file so let's say let's let's rename it let's say demo msg so i can uh, go this uh, demo and then i can say h3 let's say and i will use razor syntax and view bag dot demo msg and I will run if you remember that if you run your application from a view it will directly launch that view and uh, if you remember that in uh, uh, in routes we we said that this demo is a default so let's move back to the index and then run this and this will actually uh, by default will launch index and then we want to go to the demo so slash one slash demo so from demo action and this is our uh, actually demo um, page and this is actually our index this is about and uh, what about adding a demo over here in the menu how do we get this menu because uh, if we write a demo over here uh, we don't see in this page we see the page starts with the demo and we don't even see this uh, statement which is printed over here in a demo it has only um, uh, heading level 2 uh, which is displaying demo uh, and uh, this uh, demo msg and uh, similarly how do we get this demo in a title so let's uh, go and find out so if you come and see shared folder in this shared folder we have a layout.cshtml file so layout.cshtml file is actually the layout of this application and then it actually renders the body parts which means uh, these uh, CSSTML files because uh, when we create these HTML files, we uh, they actually use layout, and uh, inside that layout, it uses or renders the body. So these are the actually action pages, uh, action links that are generated uh, using Razor syntax, and uh, this is a HTML helper class which is using, and we will be using 
HTML helper class in uh, many other ways. So let's add. So we can create an action page, uh, action link basically. So action link uh, takes multiple uh, arguments. It has uh, several overloads, overloaded methods, and uh, the first argument uh, in uh, three argument function is uh, link text. So let's for example uh, demo me, and uh, this one is action and this is the controller that you are going to call so uh, this action should be added and you can see that this uh, daytime uh, structure of uh, uh, c sharp is used and uh, this is the text that we see at the bottom of the page and uh, these are the some uh, scripts and bundles which are which are actually loaded these are some css files which are loaded on the head of uh, this page and this is actually whole HTML page that we see and uh, normally we don't use or I have, I have not been using uh, div I will I was directly using h2 h3 over, over here because it was already uh, in a container container div so I will just uh, run this uh, again and uh, let's see so we should be looking at this demo me over here and it's actually calling home and demo uh, page which is actually home controller and demo action so that's how we can add links and remove links definitely you can use uh, themes and you can customize those themes and you can uh, put a layout page of that theme and you can uh, render different uh, uh, body contents of uh, your page and like that so we are going to add uh, another uh, controller today and we will add a uh, new controller and uh, this is this time we are we have several options but we are going to add a simple empty controller because we are going to write our controller from the very beginning let's say for example product so the product is a controller name and that is uh, by default it has added an index and it has a view and it has created a directory under uh, view so uh, by default index we don't have right now so i can actually use control mg to move but it cannot find out so i can actually right click on it and add view so it's an index yes okay and then go back uh, control mg and if i go back again and then it is saying index so i can call it uh, products so this is a products page and this is our index and I will just run this and uh, it will launch this uh, product index and it's not doing anything just uh, displaying this message or this text products yes and uh, we were we are actually going to do something more about sending more data uh, from the controller so this is a product controller and we are going to use view bag uh, and we can actually use view data and we can also use stem data to send some more data over here so uh, before i send data i will just uh, give you a, a bit of an introduction of uh, uh, razor syntax so razor syntax is actually you can create a block of a razor syntax like uh, this you can add add the rate sign and then you can you let's say for example i'm going to create a list of string of type string let's say for example products is equal to new list of string and i can add some products using add method and let's say for example i'm using devil laptop and let's add some more so hp laptop and we are sending some uh, uh, printers and so on so i can use let's say for example uh, for each loop to go through or iterate through these uh, these products and uh, i can uh, use let's say for example uh, unordered list to display these products so list item would be 
item so i can directly access a, 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 a resource index variable using add the rate sign uh, just like the way we have been using before in uh, this way in about so uh, a list would be created and then would be displaying those items over here and uh, just save it and we run this example so these are actually the 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 products and uh, what about if we create an order list instead of an order list so actually i did not need to stop it i just need to refresh it so it's saying 111 because every time it's creating an order list so this order list should be outside this for each loop and uh, it should end over here so and uh, when i'm going to break it's actually i'm breaking this uh, reserve syntax so i need to tell that this is not an uh, html text this is a uh, for each is an uh, uh, reserve syntax um, so 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 this is going to actually create and i can actually uh, do the format selection so it will do a bit formatting in this case i it does not need any formatting so i'm going to refresh this and now we see that one two three is the these are the products so these are the products which are actually uh, displaying based on the list that is created inside this razor index what about sending the list of products that would be that we will be using or we will be doing later on that sending our models through through actions or through controllers to view and we will be displaying data uh, extracting data from those models and then displaying those models so i'm going to move this uh, this uh, the list of products inside uh, the action so i will just move this from here i will stop this and uh, i will be creating a list over here and i will be using view bag oops view bag dot let's say products and products is the list that would be using inside this uh, view bag so so now i will be using view bag dot products yes i did not need add the red sign so these are the products that would be fetched from the dynamic property of uh, products and products has uh, the products of type uh, list and it's uh, iterating through and then displaying those products So these are the products which are actually sent from the controller and the action index and then it's accessing that from uh, these uh, viewback dot props and then uh, that's how we can actually send uh, a bunch of data uh, an enti entire list uh, from these products and then uh, displaying on the view so in this case uh, we have not we still have not used any uh any model we did not create any class we are just sending a list we also have another option which is view data and view bag is uh is uh, is the latest uh uh class in uh, uh, .net framework as compared to view data and temp data so in view data if we are going to use view data we can uh, use an add method and an add method we need to uh, send a key value pairs so if i am going to use add data view data and then uh, let's say for example i am specifying a view data over here and uh, let's say for example customers so i can create a list of customers and i can send that over there so i will rename it as let's say customers yeah customer list see list dot add john and 
full. I don't know if these are the right spelling. And Tom and C list. So if I'm going to access the list of customers, uh, which I can do somewhere over here, maybe after this block, let's say for example as to customers, and uh, I'm using razor syntax block, and I will be using for each. I I can add this by actually uh, using uh, a snippet. So if I press for I see a hint over here to tap twice to insert the for snippet. So I'm actually using uh, that uh, Visual Studio option to press tap twice. So it actually adds um, uh, a snippet, and I can add further uh, things over here. So I can use view letter, and I am using customers. Do we have customers? We have customers. So customers as list of string because i need to tell in this case that what type of uh, view data i am talking about over here so i can iterate through again and i can display a an item which is actually a list of customers a single item and and again i can use ordered list and i can tell that this for each is a reader syntax so so it actually did not do I need to format the selection so it did the formatting so I will save this and I'm sending a list of customers using view data this time so if you if you are trying to send a, a, a key value pair which can be a JSON format that uh, can be used as a dictionary in .NET and then you want to send that format to the to the view and then you can extract that information from that and then you can display so the customers are actually john michael and tom which are actually which we are sending from here so we can actually use uh, 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 these uh, two options for the one time session so so far we are still playing with the view and the controller and, and the actions of the controller and then we are sending data to the view and the view is displaying those data and uh, we have not discussed anything about the model and uh, we will be doing this in uh, next video all right so that's all for today